Now, people, you see what's going on in Canada? Attention predators at demonstration. If you are unable to care for your animal as a result of enforcement action, your animal will be placed in protective care for eight days at your cost after eight days. If arrangements are not made, your animal will be considered relinquished. If you think this just goes on in Canada, you're full of it. When cops raid a house, you know, for some stupid little thing whatsoever, and you got a little Pomeranian or Cocker Spaniel or something like that, we got to remember, when these guys rush into your house, they got all this protective gear on. Submachine guns. Yeah. And your little dog comes out there and they point their gun at the dog because they're afraid of your dog. They got all that protective gear on and the chicken shit son of a bitches. It's not, it's not just Canada, people. It happens right here in the United States of America. And don't think it doesn't. They'll throw your wife on the floor, your kids on the floor, and you're not even home. Yep. Had it happen to a buddy at work. No. Nope. This is not good. This is not good what they're doing. I'll put a I'll put a link to this. Imagine this, this is on Fox News. Canada starts to seize potentially uh, euthanized truckers' pets. Fox News. February 18, 2022. I'll put a link. You need to watch this and open up your eyes. It can happen here. It has happened here. And you better get ready for this shit. Thanks for watching. Poor little dog. Will eventually have no issue killing you for mm -hmm. the same. Mm. Trudeau is a fool and a tyrant. Former Senator Orrin Hatch weighing in also, he said, we are taking away your puppies is a great way to show you that we no longer worry about the optics of this crackdown. He's exactly right. Even El Salvador's president, you guys, calling for more international condemnation and also tweeting, what would happen if a Latin American government did this to its political opposition, right? There would probably be a different.